math tune-up with Mr. Payne. Let's look at converting standard form to vertex form by completing the square. Here I've got a quadratic function, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 24. From this function, I know that my y-intercept is negative 24, but I don't know much else. So if I get into vertex form, I'll be able to find the vertex. To do this, the first thing you do is you have to have a 1 in front of the x squared. Here we do. If you don't see anything there, you know there's a 1 there. What I do is I divide my middle term by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then I square that term. 1 squared equals 1. Now I rewrite my equation. So now I've got x squared plus 2x. Now I'm going to add in that 1. That one was not in the original equation, so I'm going to subtract it, and then I got the minus 24. Now, the object of completing the square is to get this first part down to what looks like a perfect square. I can factor that. That works out to be x plus 1 squared. If I were to factor that, I'd get x plus 1 times x plus 1. I've got the minus 1 and the minus 24. Now I just collect my like terms. I've got x plus 1 squared minus 25. I now know the vertex. The vertex is negative 1 common negative 25. Let's look at a harder example that has a value, an a value other than 1. Here I've got y equals negative 5x squared minus 10x plus 2. I know my y-intercept is plus 2, and I know it opens down because my a value is negative. The first thing I need to do is to get this x, this negative 5x squared down to an x squared. So I'm going to divide the first two terms by negative 5. That will give me negative 5 x squared, negative 10 divided by negative 5 is plus 2x, and then plus 2. Do not divide the third term by the negative 5. I now have an a value, if you think about it, in front of the x squared that's 1. So now I can go ahead and do this. So just as before, I say 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 1 squared equals 1. So now I'm going to rewrite it. Now, I'm going to add in the 1, but as this 1 was not in the original equation, I'm going to subtract it as well, plus 2. Now, if I were to factor this, this guy down here, that would work out too. x plus 1 squared. Now, I have to take into account this negative 1 here. Negative 5 times negative 1 is plus 5, and then the plus 2. Now I just collect my like terms. So my vertex is going to be negative 1, comma, 7. Now here's a hint. You always know what's going to go here, because this number here is always what you got right here. So that plus 1 comes right from there. Okay? Thank you.